I've always been kind of hit or miss with Erdman Productions. I mean, never really got into Wallace and Gromit. As a kid, I thought Chicken Run was okay. So they've just never really been on my radar. In regards to Shaun the Sheep, I've only seen some of the shorts that were put on Nintendo Video way back when. Back when I first got my 3DS, and not the new 3DS XL that I currently have, but like the old Fire Emblem Awakening model that I used to have. As such, I wasn't really sure how to feel about this film going in, since you're basically taking something that was doing really well as a series of shorts, and then making a feature. I was almost kind of worried that we were going to have a Tom and Jerry movie incident. But thankfully, that wasn't the case with this film. Shaun the Sheep the Movie is a stop-motion animated film that has no dialogue. It tells its story strictly through the visuals and the animation, which may be a little bit weird for people who are used to seeing animated films that kind of dumb themselves down, but you'd be surprised what they were able to pull off in this film, since the film is mostly slapstick humor, and the lack of dialogue actually probably makes it a lot easier for kids to understand, not harder. The characters in this film all have distinct personality and are very, very lively, you can basically tell them apart, you can instantly recognize which character is which. That's how good the character design is, and that's how good the animation is, is that all the movements are just oozing with personality. The only thing I turn my head at in this film is the humor that's aimed at the adults in the audience, as those were more or less just pop culture references. You have some classic references that kind of stand the test of time that people may get down the line, like a reference to Silence of the Lambs and Shawshank Redemption. But then you have references to things like Breaking Bad, and I feel some of those references do kind of date the film a bit. Now, don't get me wrong, from what I've heard, Breaking Bad is a good show, but it's kind of a case of, well, it'll give away kind of what time period this film was made in. Now, it's not as bad as it could have been, because these moments are very few and very far between. And you can tell that they weren't basically the main jokes they, they were expecting to land, they were just more or less an afterthought put into the film just because they wanted to, just to make a quick joke and then move on. As for any of the technical aspects, the animation looked great, as everything moved really smoothly, and I also like the fact that they learned their lesson about stop motion and 3D not mixing very well, as this film's only being shown in 2D, which makes sense, because I've tried watching like even some of the brief clips from that pirate movie that Airdman did a while back, and the 3D just did not help it at all. Overall, this is a charming film that's great for children. It doesn't reinvent the wheel, it just does what it does best. It's also nice to see a studio adhere to what makes the series work, rather than compromise their ideas for the sake of mass appeal. And for those of you cinephiles who have kids, this makes for a really good introduction to silent comedies like, well, Buster Keaton, Harold Lloyd, Charlie Chaplin, as it's done in a very similar vein. That said, it does skew younger, so there isn't really a lot that's here for an adult viewer. But if you go into this with the kind of mindset that you would have when you were going to see a film that's basically, say, Mr. Bean, then you'll have a good time with this film because it's very nice, simple, almost kind of like written by children for children. It's a very simplistic story told really, really well, strictly through the visuals. All of that said, Shaun the Sheep the Movie gets a 4.5 out of 5. So that's it for this episode of Romney's Reviews. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.